James, obviously uh, you're in a unique sort of environment here because uh, A, we're in the ski slope and B, you're going to be playing at Stadium MK potentially in a couple of years' time. Yeah, definitely. Uh, great opportunity to sort of to uh, come here and be a part of this. And uh, yeah, and just living down the road at Bedford is, uh, yeah, fantastic. And to know in two years' time uh, when Canada sort of come to the World Cup, if uh, part of that squad, it'll be, uh, well, like sort of a, a once-in-a-lifetime experience to play sort of in, a, in, in front of my home crowd. Does that make you hungrier? Because obviously you guys have only recently just confirmed your place in the tournament. Does that make you hungrier, knowing that it would be kind of home soil for you? Definitely. My, my career is starting to wind down now. I'm getting on a bit, but um, I've always set myself a goal of finishing it off uh, here in the UK uh, at the World Cup. And sort of to add icing sort of to that cake is the opportunity to play down the road from Bedford uh, at Stadium NK which uh, from what I've seen in, in past games, sort of the European games that they've held, fantastic place and to get a chance to, uh, to have the opportunity to play there, it's uh, definitely uh, making me work a bit harder to try and uh, secure a spot. Obviously you are from Bedford Blues, we've got Northampton Saints down the road so it's a very strong rugby area. Are you hoping that the tournament and obviously yourselves, and Blue, uh, yourselves at Blues and at Saints can sort of inspire kids to get involved and really leave a legacy? Oh, definitely. I think it's a very strong uh, rugby area as it is, um, but I think to be based around here, as I know sort of teams will be, I think it'll really boost the community, and especially the rugby community, with kids sort of getting involved, uh, coming to see those teams train, and the teams giving back too. Like They're going to be based around the area, so they're going to be out and about, and uh, they're going to be able to interact with uh, their supporters and just sort of local kids and schools. So... Uh, I think it'll be a great opportunity, not just for the players involved, but for supporters as well, based around the area, because traditionally you've had to go down to uh, Twickenham and, and watch your big games down there, but now you're sort of getting one in your backyard, and I think it's really exciting.